everybody. It's Kim the Homeschooling Grammy and we're doing a dissection. We're doing a dissection today. She wants to do a dissection. So our first dissection today is going to be a starfish. I haven't done one. I haven't done the starfish before myself and it's been a really long time since I've done any dissection. So we're going to relearn how to do this together. Bruce is here too. Poppy's over there. He decided he's going to be reading the instructions, but we already have our dissection scissors, our teasing needle, and our play pan or tray. I put play. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Hope has her gloves. Do you have your gloves? Gloves. Do you have your glasses? Yes. Glasses. All right. So if you're interested, stick around. We're about to get started. And after that, you're not going to be able to put your hands on your face. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spiky and spiny right yeah yeah so we're gonna lay him here on the tray I'm gonna move this down a little bit so that you all can see what hopefully we're you can kind of see what we're doing no promises there all right so now here we go so what are the what's the first thing that we're doing okay uh, with your starfish specimen oriented top side up I'll show you the diagram yes so we have them top side up okay Look for a tiny circular plate on the surface near the center. This plate is called the, and I hope I'm saying it right, madreporite, also known as the sieve plate. Okay. And is used to regulate flow of water through the water vascular system. The water vascular system is used to control the movement of the starfish. Okay. Um, <laughs> note the rough, spiny surface that covers the body of the starfish. He's rough and spiny. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you turn the starfish over, you will see tiny tube feet, which line the... Oh, my goodness, these words. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to read. <laughs> <laughs> you the one told me how to read. <laughs> Ambrolacral grooves. Okay, so here are the grooves. So take a look. See the oh, grooves right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're kind of spiky. Oh, yeah. All right. Everyone wants to okay. see the grooves in mm -hmm. our... They allow the starfish to move and latch on to prey. In the center of the starfish, you should be able to see the mouth. Oh, that's cool. Hope right here. Right in the exact yeah. middle. See the mouth? Yeah. Everybody, in case you didn't know, right there is the mouth of the starfish. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay. All right. Removing the skin. All right. So we're going to be removing skin. Take your scissors and remove a small piece of the tip of one of the rays. And there should be instructions somewhere. Well, that is instructions. So here's there's the ray. All right, there is instructions right here. So right here it tells us where to do our incision. Right here at the top it says incision one, incision two. So I'm going to assume we're going to use scissors for this. Uh, right yeah. there. Yep. All right. So it doesn't matter which one. Um, yeah, because they cut it right off. Yeah, it says yeah. Right, they cut the tip off. Right? They remove yeah. a small piece of the tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choose a ray that does not attach to the main body near the sieve plate. All right. Then what? Okay. Um, next, take the point of the scissors and poke it into the ray where you just removed the tip. Okay, I did. Okay, it says follow incision two. If you want to see that again. All right, so I go all the way down until matter point sleeve. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so we are now making our incision. Okay, cutting carefully through the thick outer protective layer all the way up to where it attaches to the rest of the body. Cut around the top of the starfish in a small circle, as in figure one. Okay, let me oh, see. See how it goes. 
So like I'm this? cutting out in a round, roundabout way. Yeah. All right, so we are cutting. So as we cut this way, so we're gonna cut like a little U shape in our starfish. Okay, okay. done. Be careful to cut on the inside of the sieve plate. Don't remove the sieve plate. Uh -huh. And try not to cut any of the internal organs. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, remove the circular section you just cut. Okay, I did. Then cut down the other side of the ray and remove that piece of skin as well. Okay. This should expose the internal organs of the starfish. If you want to see a diagram, this is where it exposes the eternal. Oh, okay. So I have to go down more. Yuck. <laughs> Graham, <laughs> eh? It is kind of gross. No, it isn't. All right. So I'm trying to make it look like the picture. All right. Okay. So you should so be able to see the stomach I'm here. Cutting. You should be able to. All right. So can you see the stomach? I'm working on it. I have to go down further. We're doing surgery. So for any of you people who do this on a regular basis and I'm doing it wrong, let me know. I might be doing it wrong. So it's got to go even further, huh? Yeah. It's a good thing I wasn't a surgeon, y'all. Just thought you should know that. <laughs> okay, then what? Okay, so it says... You should be able to see the, and I can't read it when you. I know, but I need to see what I'm looking for. The pyloric stomach. All right, so those are the digestive glands. Interesting. Can you see them? I might have. So this is what we got so far. Okay, keep going. Okay, so. So you should be able to see the large digest digestive glands extending from the center of the starfish body down each ray. These are attached to the pyloric stomach via pyloric ducts. Food is partially digested in the cardiac stomach. Do you want me to read all this? Yes. Okay. Then pass through the pyloric, si pyloric system for further digestion. Inside the cardiac stomach, you might find small clams, mussels, or oysters that the starfish was eating at the time it was caught. Really? Waste products are ejectable, or sorry, are ejected through the anus, which, <laughs> which lies at the top of the pyloric stomach. You you probably will not be able to find the anus. It's a very tiny opening. Okay. okay. All right. To get a better view, remove and set aside the pyloric system, including the digestive glands, using your fingers or the tip of your scissors. Keep going. She's doing surgery. Yes. Okay. As you remove the pyloric system from one ray, you might find that the digestive glands from other rays get pulled with it. Tear or cut through the pyloric ducts of the other rays if needed to prevent this from happening. Okay, so this is, oh, okay. Let me see what the stomach looks like again. Okay, the stomach. Right over here. Pretty cool. Let's see. Mm. I'll have to see that on the video because <laughs> I can't see it from here. Wow. Pretty, Pretty cool. cool, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, cool beans, man. All right, so what, what am I doing? The cardiac stomach lies below the pyloric stomach that you just removed. 
This stomach is inverted and pushed through the mouth during feeding. There it excretes digestive fluid to help break down its food before it is pulled back inside the starfish with the stomach for further digestion. Whoa, that bone feels weird. Okay, okay. Re reproductive system. All right, let's see. The gonads, right <laughs> stomach. All right, female stuff, starfish have ovaries and male starfish have testes. The two look almost identical when the naked eye. So to actually distinguish between the sexes, you will probably need a microscope, which we don't have. At least not a good one we don't have. All right. If you have a microscope and want to identify the gonads, take a small piece. Okay. All righty. So now we're going to move on to the water vascular system. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I guess I have to remove more. There's a lot of removing going on over here, people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So what do you think of dissection so far, Hope? It's, this is cool. It's pretty cool? Yeah. Uh-huh. Especially this part of the bone. <laughs> now, while you do that, I'm going to read this a little bit. As alluded to earlier, the water vascular system is used by, by the starfish and other ec echinoderms to move and feed. It works just like a hydraulic power system, except instead of controlling large pieces of machinery, it controls tiny muscles in the starfish. Hmm. Yes, I put a cover on my table, because yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that those are the muscles right there. Yeah. The pictures always look so much different than the real thing. Yeah. Okay, so. Can I show you one? Why not? Okay. Remember the sieve, the sieve plate? Find it on your specimen again. Do you need the diagram for that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, um, there it is. Right in the middle. Yeah. Sieve plate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Find it on your specimen again, but this time look for the, the thin tube-like organ attached to it. This organ is called the stone canal and connects to another organ called the ring canal. Interesting. The, the, the radial canals from each ray attach to the ring canal. Rows of tiny bulb-like structures come off of the radial canal. These structures are called ampullae and are attached to the tube feet. The ampullae, ring canal, and radial canal, for the ray you cut open, should be visible at this point. And it says... Let me see. I need pictures. You reading and me not having pictures is not working. <laughs> oh, Bobby, okay. look at the inside of this one. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's what happens when we break the bone. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Very cool. So they basically had taken a hole. Awesome. Right here. Take a look. So right here. Yeah, move this stuff out of the way. Now that we got a good leg. See, so right here is the ring canal. So you can see the little hole right there. Yeah. Right here. Let's 
the peoples. All right, let's see what else says on here. Is that it? That was our excitement. How does it all work? Water is brought into the system through the sieve plate and then passed through the stone canal and into the ring canal. And from the ring canal, the water is distrib distributed between the radial canals, one in each ray. The ampullae line the radical, the radial canal and connect to the tube feet. As muscles in the ampullae contract, the water inside is forced to the tube feet, causing them to extend like tiny tentacles. Adhesive chemicals are then extruded by the tube feet, allowing them to latch onto the sea floor. So see right here. These are all the tube feet over here. Wow. To release the starfish, releases another chemical through the tube feet to break down the adhesive bond. The muscles in the ampullae relax, causing the tube feet to contract again. So here, come over here so people can see you, what you're doing. I'm pressing the stomach. Yes. Let's see how you can really see here. See up in there, you can actually see the tubes. Yeah. So if you guys look really close, you'll see the the stone canal and the ring canal. Let's see if I can turn around so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's hard to see because, you know, pictures are magnified in the book. And let me just say that it's not the case. So if you look here, all of the structures that we were talking about, you see like, where's my... Uh, Grammy, I think that your thumb is in the way. No, I'm looking up here. So you can see like the three structures, right? There. So that's what we were looking for. Yeah. I think we did pretty good. We found it. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you want to do more dissection on another day? Do you uh, like it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll clean up, at least clean my hands up and... um. We'll be right back. Hi! Wow. So what did you think of doing that? It was very, very cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was fun. It's been a long time By since... By the way, I just broke a bone. It doesn't have any bones in it, babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she's all about animals and stuff. So we have several more critters in there at some point um, that we're going to be dissecting. I don't know if we'll film it or not. That'll be up to you all. If it's something that you want to see, we can do it in front of you again. Just not very good at this. Like I said, it's. I haven't done a dissection since I was in college, and that was a long time ago. And I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was, because then you'll figure out how old I am, and that's not cool. So, what did you think, Poppy? I thought it was absolutely amazing. All right. So, I hope that this is a blessing to you, and we will talk to you in the next video. Right, Hope? Right. Bye, all. Bye! Thank you.